I need to go, like, quite literally touch some grass, see some trees. And I still don't have hot water. Welcome to New York City Renting. I think this is the most goals I've set for myself in one month ever. Speaking of treats, I need to bake something. I Good morning. So we are in fact in the loft again. It's like 7 a.m. Our walls are not the thickest. So trying to be mindful of neighbors who I am very certain are still asleep. And I don't know, I thought the sound would not travel as much, whatever. So hi, good morning, how are you? If you're new here, welcome. My name is Sarah and welcome to my loft. That's in my apartment in Brooklyn. So what this upload should have been was a June plan with me and it should have been like last week. <laughs> However, that didn't exactly pan out because it is now June 5th and a plan with me is just not on the cards for me this month so I thought I would do a little bit of like a June reset instead that encompasses some of the aspects of the plan with me but without sitting down and doing a formal video because like other times uh on this channel that I've done a reset in place of or with the plan with me it's because your girl needed it <laughs> And boy, do I need it. So just to quickly catch you all up to speed on what's been going on in my life. So my last video was a morning routine. And then the video before that, I think was my 30th birthday vlog. Man, has my 30th year been testing me already? And it's only been less than a month. Oh, it's really not that serious. I am grateful for all of the things in my life, but damn, if there hasn't been some things like going down the past couple of weeks, it is what it is. I think I mentioned a few videos back, probably in the May plan with me, that I was going on a work trip uh, at the end of May, and I just got back from that. So I was in Atlanta, Georgia for, for like six days, better part of a week. It was a good time, it was exhausting, but it was a good time. I will say though, I don't know if I've talked about this on my channel before, I'm sure that I have because I haven't shut up about it at work for the past like couple of weeks leading up to this conference, but I am terrified, terrified of flying. I don't do airplanes, it's not my thing. And in some ways I feel like it's gotten worse the older I get, which is not ideal. <laughs> That's like the opposite of how it should happen. But my my god, my plane anxiety before leaving like last Sunday or Monday was so bad. Like woke up in the middle of the night crying, cried on the way to the airport, like cried the day before. It was just a lot. So I think that unfortunately set the tone for that week despite having a good time like generally. While I was there it was still, I was just going through it a little bit. Just super quickly, I feel like it is worth noting that I did not lose my shit and cry like in front of my coworkers. This was all in the privacy of my own space. I am not the main character when I am around other people, so I was not being that person. Um, it doesn't matter, no one probably cares, but I feel like I just needed to clarify that. Anyway, so weird things that happened while I was in Atlanta. One, I right before leaving, I developed a toe infection which turned into an abscess. 
Not sure where she came from or how that started, but I was dealing with that. It hurt so, so bad. There were back and forth trips to urgent care and all these things, blah, 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 whatever. Been on an antibiotic, which has also been causing its own issues as antibiotics do. Yeah, so that was happening the whole time. Towards the end of our time in Atlanta, all of the water in downtown Atlanta just disappeared. Ceased to exist. Where was she? We don't know. There wasn't any. <laughs> Apparently we learned later that within like 24 hours, like five water mains broke. I don't exactly know what that means, but my dad used to be a plumber and I know he speak very seriously about water main breaks. So it seemed very serious, especially since we didn't have water for two days. Luckily it was towards the end of the trip, so we left. So yeah, we were just kind of cooped up in this hotel with no running water, no toilets, no sinks, no showers, no food, literally all of the restaurants and stores in the area shut down. I mean, understandably, I guess. It was just like a whole thing. It was not an ideal way to end the trip. But the cherry on top, and actually there's two cherries. Yes, there's two. I got home from the trip on Saturday a few days ago. And what did I come home to? No hot water. I simply just can't make this shit up. I came home to no hot water. It's actually funnier, I guess, not really, is I came home on Saturday to Evan, my partner. He was in the middle of taking a shower because he was working night shift. He was about to leave for work. It was like Saturday evening. He took a shower, fine. An hour later, I hopped in the shower because I had not showered in two days. Cold, cold. And I guess the cherry on top of that, so maybe there's three cherries, is that was Saturday, it's now Wednesday, and I still don't have hot water. Welcome to New York City renting, where landlords don't give two shits about you and just raise your rent every single year by an obscene amount and don't take care of the space that you're living in whatsoever. Oh, and the second cherry of the three is... <laughs> This is not funny. Y'all don't know me, it's not funny, but I know me and it's kind of funny. Again, coming back from the trip, I went to an urgent care in Brooklyn on Sunday. Long story short, they fixed my toe, but then I also fainted in the doctor's office. So it's just been a time. I'm fine, by the way, that is not unusual for me. My medical history has fainting painted all over it. So I'm good, I'm chilling. But in that moment, I was terrified. <laughs> But no better place to pass out than in the doctor's office, I guess. That was a longer explanation <laughs> than uh, what was probably needed, but I just needed to like let that out because I've been holding on to all of that. So it felt good. Thank you for letting me have that moment. So all that to say, <laughs> the past week or so has been a lot. I thought at one point I would film the June plan with me while I was in Atlanta, that just didn't happen. Also, they are once again doing some sort of construction across the street from me, so if you hear the noises, what's a girl gonna do? I don't know. So there is no June plan with me, but I am in much need of a reset, which sounds funny doing that on a Wednesday, but there is no limits to when resets can happen. It doesn't have to be a Sunday or a Monday or the start of the month or the beginning of a year. It could be at any point. I have done a couple of things already just to like get the ball rolling, like on Monday. I actually didn't work on Monday which was really helpful, just resting and stuff. But I did like go to the grocery store and do a little bit of meal planning and blah, blah, blah. So like that's all taken care of. This is actually the last day that I'm working this week because I had taken off Thursday and Friday in advance because Evan was supposed to have off work. Now I don't think he's gonna have off work. So I got two free days to kind of do what I want, which is both disappointing because Evan won't be here, but exciting because I get to do what I want. I don't have to work. <laughs> So for today, I think here is what I wanna do. Especially, it's a work day, I can't do everything. I have gotten up on time the past couple of days, so I think that's always a big part of resets for me. It's just like getting back into my sleep routine. What I do really need to do at some point is go outside. I got like halfway through the trip in Atlanta last week and was just like, why do I feel so off and funny? And again, I felt off and funny most of the week just because of like plane anxiety and all, all of those things. But I was like, something new <laughs> is popping up right now. And I, th I realized it's because I hadn't like legitimately been outside in like five days, except to like, quickly go grab food and walk home. Like I have not spent a significant amount of time outside in over a week and that's just like not good. <laughs> I need to go like quite literally touch some grass, see some trees, look at a squirrel, I don't know. So also part of my reset, trying to get back into the swing of things with reading because I did not read a book during May. I started my new one but I'm like two chapters in. So I do wanna read and it's not too sunny out right now. So I think I might go read on my balcony. It also wouldn't hurt to maybe go for a little walk later. 
later, but that's dependent on when and if the maintenance person shows up because I don't want to leave the apartment until they're here because I don't want to not be here when they come, if they come. So that's another thing. I have also pretty much planned loosely my week and my notion, but I have not revisited my goals. So at some point I'll just quickly go through my May goals, see what I accomplished, set some new goals for June, and we can do that just like I would in my plan with me. But we're like not gonna make it a whole thing, you know? I want to straighten up the apartment a little bit. I think I intend to more like deep clean during my time off later this week but there's definitely some straightening up to do. Also with having two days off, well technically, I mean four if we count the weekend, though I'm going back to Delaware on Saturday. Um, anyway, so at least with the two days I have off coming up, I wanna make like an intentional to-do list about what I would like to accomplish because I already had my rest day. Like I said, I didn't work on Monday. There was no reason for me to be sitting on the couch and like watching YouTube videos. So I, at some point, wanna sit down with y'all and make a list of what it is that I wanna get done. All right, this next one I'm gonna say here and you all better hold me to it. I need to journal. I know I talk about it in every single plan with me. I think about it more and more, but I have not done it. I have no reason not to do it. And I wanna be really intentional about that. I feel like I got a lot on my mind, a lot that I could write down. I know before I talked about wanting to do it like at the end of the work day, just taking a couple of minutes to do that because that seemed like a achievable goal. Have not done that. Evan does not come home until like nine tonight. I get off work at seven, so there is no reason, you know, normally my excuse is like, I get off work, Evan's already home, we start making dinner. It just doesn't happen, but I have so much time for myself today that I'm gonna make it happen. And I think that's it. Like honestly, just the rest of the day sticking to a routine between getting up early, which I said I already did, making my coffee, reading, hopefully I can go for a walk at some point, straightening up the apartment, being really intentional with my work time, taking breaks. So I wanna be intentional about not just sitting and rotting at my desk all day, getting up, taking breaks, walking around, which is probably how I'll incorporate straightening up the apartment. That's what I tried to do whenever I use the Pomodoro method, which maybe I'll use that a little bit today, or just being intentional about taking breaks between meetings because I do have a handful of meetings, even though it's not for coaching. But it's just like every hour or so taking a five minute break and I'll go wash a couple dishes or I'll put some clothes away or I'll clean up the cat toys that are all over the apartment just to get my body moving and also like be productive at that time. So, but okay, I've been talking way too much. I'm going to go back downstairs without spilling my coffee because I did in fact spill it coming up the ladder to the loft. I think I'm gonna go read outside. It is so breezy. I can feel <laughs> the wind coming through our skylight right now. It feels so good. The cats will enjoy being outside as well. So now I want to sit down and revisit my goals from May, create some new goals for June. I did just make my breakfast, avocado toast, obviously. <laughs> and I'm just going to use my iPad since I'm not doing a full-blown plan with me. This will suffice for now. But long story short, I typically use Notion for almost all of my planning, some other things as well. All right, so my May goals could be a lot better, could be a lot worse, giving myself some like grace and flexibility just because the last two weeks of May were a little chaotic. But that being said, I did not plan my engagement photos yet. We already know I didn't journal. <sighs> Financial planning, it's coming along. Um, keep reaching out to venues, that's wedding venues. I did reach out to another and then I've set up meetings with one or two. So that is in the works. I've kind of talked to my married friends about their budgets and what that looked like. Like very broadly, I haven't had like in detailed conversations, but so far it's been helpful and has been a good start. I definitely think like as I go and as more expenses start to pile up eventually, having those conversations might be nice. Create a wedding Pinterest board. I did do that. That's been really fun because now my like Pinterest page, I don't know what it's called, but like the landing page 
used to be just food, <laughs> which was fine. That's what I wanted. And then for a while it was engagement rings. And now it's a mix of food and wedding related things because I've made different boards for dress ideas. I already, I haven't looked very long, but I think I already know what kind of dress I want, which is like so interesting. I don't know. I'm normally really like not a picky person when it comes to those things, but an indecisive person. But I saw like one style of dress and was just like obsessed with it. So my entire Pinterest board for the wedding dress section is just like one style of dress. Anyway, so yeah, I have dresses on there. I have decorations on there. I have dessert ideas on there. Color palette ideas, there's a whole section for that. I'm getting married in the fall, so we're looking for like a fall theme. I think there's a couple of other boards within that wedding board, but long story short, that's been really fun. <laughs> okay, so I did not FaceTime with my cousin Sydney. I did FaceTime with Julie and I didn't read a book. I'm working on it. Okay, so now I'm going to take a second and write out my June goals and we will reconvene when I have those laid out. So I very unexpectedly, unintentionally just made so many goals for June, but I'm actually kind of excited. I think this is the most goals I've set for myself in one month ever. And it's definitely a mix of like easily attainable things and then some things that take a little more effort. So the first couple are all just repeats from last month and honestly the past couple of months. <laughs> Need to buy a birthday gift for my mom because her birthday is coming up in a couple of weeks. I want to find a hair salon. Um, I regret to inform you all that I have not got a haircut in two years. <laughs> and if you do the math correctly, yes, that means since I moved to New York. I've had such an on and off relationship with hair salons. Through most of high school and college, I cut my own hair. I know, super cringy, but it worked. It's not like I was doing a bunch of like crazy shit. Well, in high school I was. In grad school, I finally got into like somewhat of a routine of going back to a salon and going back to the same person. And I really liked her. Her name was also Sarah. And then when I moved, I was like, well shit, okay. I can't really do that anymore. When I moved here, I didn't have a job. So a salon just wasn't affordable. And then after that, I kept telling myself like, oh, when I'm back in Delaware, because I go back to Delaware pretty frequently, like I'll just make appointments. My old stylist and I just haven't done that either. So I think that's a sign that I just need to bite the bullet and find a salon to go to in the city. But I have a feeling that's going to require a lot of research to find something that is affordable because in the small amount of looking that I've done previously, I couldn't find just like a basic haircut for under $85. And don't get me wrong, I want to pay stylists for the artistry and the work that they do, but $85 is a lot. The next one, Plan a Solo Day in Manhattan, is actually taken from a couple of months ago and I kind of forgot about that as a goal and I want to bring that back. I kind of did it when this was a part of my like March or April plan with me and I want to do that again. I want to be more intentional of spending good quality time with myself exploring the city because there's so much to explore. So I also have like a running list of things in New York City that I want to do, like a lot of stores and bakeries and all these different things. So in theory, it should be a really attainable goal. I just need to make it happen. Next, I want to make progress on the blanket that I'm crocheting. I am not finished. I have purchased more yarn, which is good, but I haven't worked on it in a couple of weeks. It is coming together. It's so big now that I can't store it like in the tote bag I had it in and it's actually sitting. I move it between my desk chair when I'm not working and then when I work I put it on the couch and the cats have been using it as a cat bed in the meantime so at least I know it's comfortable. Organized new computer also something that was in a previous plan with me and that's because I thought at the time I was going to have a new computer within a couple of days. Long story short I still do not have the computer but I did buy it and I sent it to my parents house so when I'm home this weekend I'm gonna be picking up my new MacBook Pro, which I am stoked about. I've been using the same MacBook Pro since 2013. So I got a solid like 11 years out of this thing and I need to do some organizing and make it what I want it to be. Next, I guess I kind of foreshadowed this a little bit. I'm gonna try and do bakery. I have a list of bakeries that I wanna to go to. I feel like it's been a while probably since I've been to a bakery in general. And it's been even longer since I've been to a new one. Hi, if you don't know me, baking is my therapy. Baking is my like passion side project. Okay, this next one is very different for me because historically I'm an introverted homebody and I have no friends, but I'm trying to be better about that. And there are a couple of friends who I have made, who I feel like I haven't seen in a while. And I wanna be intentional about planning time to see them. So whether that's like a happy hour or just like a coffee date or dinner or lunch, Lunch or brunch, whatever it is. Last but not least, I want to create a June movement calendar. And I think the last time I did this was what, in April when I did my 30 day running challenge. And spoiler alert, if you haven't seen that video, although I did not hit all 30 days, that was like the most movement I had done, kind of like 
consistently in a long time and I felt really accountable to that and it was fun. Um, okay, wow, it's only 9.30. I still have so much time before I have to get started for work. Funny how that happens when you wake up early. So I think what I'm gonna do, which I think will also be helpful for the rest of the day, healthy snacking, is cut up and prep the veggies that I wanna use for dips. In this case, mostly hummus, but I do have some leftover tzatziki. Speaking of hummus, I feel like I just need to talk about this hummus for a second. I wouldn't say I'm picky about hummus, but like I'm picky about hummus. And I feel like honestly a lot of people relate to that because like bad hummus is just bad, but when it's good, it's like real good. Like I love going to an authentic like Mediterranean restaurant and getting just like the most delicious, smoothest, tastiest hummus. And I've yet to find like an exact replica of that at the store because I'm also not willing to pay like a whole bunch of money, but this is pretty damn close so far. Anyway, that is the rant about hummus that you didn't ask for, but I'm gonna cut up some, I almost said cauliflower. Right letter, wrong word, celery and some carrots. So I'm gonna cut these up and put them in a container. Oh, also, I think she's ripe. The last time I got a pineapple, it was not ripe, but I was desperate, so I cut it anyway. And it was just simply disgusting. <laughs> and I don't wanna waste this guy, so. I mean, it's a little squishy, it smells like pineapple. The leaves come out somewhat easily, so I think it's good. of hours. So just to catch you up to speed, only things that have really happened since the last time I checked in was doing a little bit of cleaning while I had like small breaks here and there. So I cleaned up the table, our kitchen table that I'm sitting at had clothes drying um, from a couple of days ago still that I put away. I emptied the cat food into its container so it's more accessible. Cleaned up the cat toys because I think I mentioned that they were everywhere and I anticipate them to be everywhere again within the next like six hours. I think that's really it. So all that's left, actually this is probably good time and I feel like this is a good end of day activity. I wanna make a to-do list of all the things I hope to accomplish between Thursday, Friday, and then Sunday. Did already start a hypothetical list of things um, on my phone. I think. As much as I love Notion, sometimes I do like the idea of just writing something down. And yes, I know I'm still swapping one technology for another because I'm using my iPad, but that's just easier. And I have my iPad with me all the time. So I'm going to bring up that list that I started. Okay, so I need to keep cleaning. Like I said, I did straighten up a little bit, but I need to like actually clean, clean. I need to vacuum 100%. Do some dusty and do some laundry, kind of the typical weekend activities I do. I need to edit this video. Ideally, I could maybe even have that uploaded tomorrow. I'd also like to film again. I have a lot of time. If I could knock out another video, maybe two videos, that might be, that might be reaching too far. But if I could do maybe Actually, maybe I'll film a vlog kind of over the course of the next couple of days of doing the things on this list because some of them are like home things. Some of them, if I can make possible, are leaving the house activities. So that could be fun just to do like a weekend in my life or something. I'll add that. Next, I have updating my YouTube channel and Instagram. I did finally start to change some of the like branding and graphics on my YouTube and I need to get back into my Bake Should Happen Instagram and bring that baby back to life. I won't go on my whole TikTok and Instagram soapbox that I've gone on many times on this channel. But long story short, my motivation is like fleeting with those two platforms, but I like to think I will be more inclined to use them once I have like all of my social medias 
in sync with one another. With the editing of this video and doing all of that, I would love to be able to go hang out in a coffee shop, especially if I do this tomorrow, it's still the weekday. So most people hypothetically are working. It won't be as busy. It gets me out of the house gets me a little treat. Speaking of treats, I need to bake something. I have not baked since my birthday cake. Oh, well, well that's not, that, that's a lie. I made sourdough. One of the best sourdoughs I think I've made. I'm getting my technique down, but I feel like that doesn't count. I'm gonna bake, bake like a dessert. I bake sourdough all the time. Maybe I'll bake cookies on like Sunday so I can bring them into work next week because I'm working in the office. And then I could do like a dessert tomorrow. That way Evan and I have that to snack on all weekend. <laughs> I forgot some of the things I put on this list. I wanna buy plants. I mean, that's a very broad term that can be applied to many different areas, but specifically for this, I've been wanting to get back into vegetable gardening and like herb gardening within the capacities that I have now living in New York City. I tried to get like pretty heavily into it when I still lived in Delaware and had the space and honestly probably more money for it. But since I'm lacking, I guess money isn't as much of an issue. Up for argument. Space is definitely an issue though. And time and attention to care for like certain plants is lacking a little bit. So I just want to buy some like starter, like a cherry tomato plant or a pepper plant. And I do know a like flea marketplace that sells them as well as a couple of other stores. So maybe I will go on a little plant adventure tomorrow. But overall, this apartment is lacking plants in general. So maybe one day that will be a separate to-do item is just to get more plants for inside. I want it to be a jungle in here. I also want to do my nails. I have like an at-home gel manicure set thing. Research salons, I was talking about this earlier and I feel like now's a good time to look into that because I have time to do it. Ooh, I gotta plan my content. And there's like the typical things that I should be doing anyway whether weekly or daily regarding like grocery shopping, meal planning, crocheting, reading. I'm just gonna assume those things are gonna happen. So I'm not gonna put them on here. So I guess for now, that's it. This is a pretty decent list. And like the editing and filming of it all is gonna take enough time as it is. Even if these are the things I just do tomorrow or the next couple of days, they're like fun little aspects of a reset or just things I've been meaning to do anyway. So I feel like it fits the vibe of what I'm trying to accomplish in this video, but I'm excited. I am so grateful that I've only had to work two days this week. Um, and I'm looking forward to having four days fully off. So I guess last but not least, it is time to journal. It is time to journal. I did not forget. <laughs> But I'm gonna conclude this video and this day with a little bit of journaling, set myself up for feeling good the next couple of days and maybe just get some momentum with the whole journaling thing. Maybe I'll even do it tomorrow and Friday and probably not Saturday because I'll be away, but maybe Sunday and then I'll just keep going. Is that realistic? No idea, but we'll find out. So I am gonna do that off camera because some things are just worth keeping personal. <laughs> but okay, that is it my friends. Perhaps not the most exciting reset in the world, but it was a meaningful reset and I'm feeling good about it despite it being not quite the middle of the month, but also not quite the beginning of the month and not quite the beginning of the week either. I feel like this was a solid middle of the month, middle of the week reset. And any lingering anxiety and stress from the past couple of weeks is still there, but it's like diminishing as we go. So I'm feeling good about that. So I'm very hopeful and intentional that there will be a July plan with me. Oh my God, I can't, I can't comprehend July being the next month that's happening. I did see, I saw like a meme or something on Instagram recently that was like only three more months until all the pumpkin spice products start popping up on shelves. And I gotta admit, I chuckled and giggled and felt a little bit of pumpkin spice warmth in my heart and my soul and I got excited. <laughs> So that's where my mind's gonna be at this summer is just getting one step closer every day and every second to the fall. But okay, that is all. I'm gonna go journal. Thanks for hanging out with me today and I will see you at the next one.